guys, this is Joel again at uh, Lenderman Shop. This is the uh, John Deere Series 100 uh, D105 Automatic. There's the manual. Uh, it's about a year old, <clears throat> so I thought I'd give you a little rundown of how things are going after just about a year. Um, go over a couple of things that the John Deere has. Um, so far, I've really liked this tractor. Um, it's an automatic, which means you push the pedal and you drive it kind of like your car. It took me a little bit of getting used to, but my yard is kind of bumpy, and you'll see in the, uh, the, the video of me riding around cutting the grass that sometimes I need to go fast and slow, and it, it helps with that. Uh, thanks, by the way, for uh, sitting through that long introduction. Um, all right, so automatic, um, just put it in drive and push this up, and it works pretty well. Let me show you this here. Now the gentleman who dropped it off um, said that you could bring this up like that so that the grass will shoot further. And it does shoot further, except for after you go over a bump or two, this just kind of wiggles itself back down. It goes back down like that if you hit a bump. So uh, that it, it helps, but it, it's really not functional. Uh, what else here? Um, and I'll show you some close-ups of all this as well. Uh, here is your, your engager for your blade. On and off is here. Um, gas goes back here. The gas goes back here, which is okay, but when I have the bagger on, that's a big issue. And there is a gas gauge way down here. So when it seats up and you're putting gas in your tank, it's really hard to tell where you are and the, the tank the tank is black so you can't really see through the tank to see where you are so you just kind of have to be careful when you're feeling otherwise not bad let me turn the tractor around and I'll show you the other side sorry for stooping my camera can only uh, get so much here Here's your, your height adjuster for your, uh, your deck. Spring loaded, which is nice, makes it nice and easy. Um, I haven't changed the blades or sharpened the blades yet, so I don't know how easy or hard, how hard that is. Um, clutch over here, your clutch brake. Down here, you put in your garden hose. has a quick release. I uh, haven't used that for a while. Uh, there we go. So you hook that right to your garden hose, and you plug it in. You run the blades. Uh, and it cleans out your deck. I've only done that a couple times, so I'm not quite sure how well that works. Uh, what else do we have over here? Is your parking here, your throttles up here. There is a um, an hours chart up here for you, or an hours indicator to let you know when to service your vehicle or your tractor, that is. Okay, this is a Briggs & Stratton engine made uh, exclusively for John Deere. So far, it's been working pretty good. I've always had pretty good luck with Briggs & Stratton. Um, one thing I forgot over here, this is uh, the kill switch. You need to push that before you go backwards if you're mowing. If you forget to push that down and you have the blades running, the, the engine will shut off on you. And that's okay, you get used to that, it's not a big deal. I don't know if there's a disengage for that or not. Uh, oh yeah, the hours indicator is up here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Uh, cup holder here. You can put maybe a soda can in there or, or a water bottle. Doesn't take uh, doesn't take much to fill it up. What else here? Battery is there. Oil change right here. I put a catch down here and it, it uh, works really well. Just a plastic cap, you twist it, oil comes out. There is a, a seal on the inside of this plastic piece, so hopefully that'll last. I'll let you know in a few years how well that works out. Okay, the headlights on this thing work great. Um, as opposed to the old tractor I had, uh, some of you may remember that uh, there was a company that made a tractor 
and they put kind of the, the headlights seem to be on top of the hood so they illuminated the trees very well at night but they did not shine much on the grass this uh, I have to uh, collect leaves in the fall I usually go to about 8:30 or 9 o'clock at night on some of the nights that I'm working and uh, headlights work great I just wish I had lights in the back of this thing once again on the Lenderman scale we we'll give this thing about a four and a half out of five stars I really like the tractor and uh, I didn't give it a five star yet because I've only had it for a year we'll see uh, in four or five years how well it's working and then maybe I'll, I'll change the uh, the grade on it all right Thanks for watching and thanks for uh, sticking through me through the whole presentation. Enjoy your tractor.